We're here at the Royal Academy. I am here with Vicky Richardson, who is the curator of this brand new show today, Light Lines, the Architectural Images of Helen Binet. Architectural photography of Helen Binet, but nearly. I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> so many things in there, so many accents and so many yeah. different accents of kind of work in here. She's gone around right. photographing buildings of all different shapes, yeah. sizes, colours, some quite beautiful, mm -hmm. some not so, but she sort of pulls out a bit of wonderment in everything she yes. shoots, really. That's right, yeah, she has a very particular way of seeing the world. Um, and um, it, it's amazing because this exhibition has 35 years of her work going right back to the mid 80s and she grew up in Rome surrounded by you know amazing classical architecture and ancient ruins and I think that's very much influenced her way of seeing things because she sort of sees fragments of, of buildings so you never you never see the whole thing it's always very limited and um, uh, very focused on a particular view mostly black and white and then there's a bit of red in the room next yeah. to us here and then there's some really interesting uses of I mean this one's full color but you've got to get quite close to yes. sort of see that and that's right it's um her use of color is very limited because she wants to use it in a very purposeful way so she so if she used color for everything you wouldn't even really notice it whereas when when you do see a colour image, you really, really pick up on the colours, you know, and, and so they become something really special and something that she's actively manipulating um, rather than just, you know, it's all around us so you don't even see it. There's so much optimism in all the pictures. You get close and it's a bit of a building and then you stare a bit closer and then you realise that some of it's shadows and something's actually moving and there's just so many different... They're almost third-dimensional. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I think that's right. I mean, there's, a, um, there's so much detail, and I, I think, you know, some, when you first glance at an image, you might think, oh, it's a tree and a wall, but then you get a little bit closer and you notice the, the detail of the brickwork, which all, then almost looks like stitches and tapestry. You know, there's sort of this, um, it's, it's fantastic to just spend a long time looking at one image because you, you see more and more in it. She thought architecture was this was to do with buildings, and, and she met all these people who, like Heyduck and Daniel Liebskind, who were saying, "No, architecture doesn't have to just be about buildings. It's about ideas and experimenting, and um, you know, it's a, it's it's about ter telling stories." Um, and so she then photographed all of John Heyduck's work, including that housing project in in Berlin, which is still there and is a you know very interesting experiment project. She, she actually lives in London. She, oh, right. she lives and works in Kentish Town. Okay. And she's been here for, you know, since since the 80s, mm -hmm. although, you know, she's constantly travelling um, and her partner's in Berlin, so, you know, she's a very international sort of person. But her kids went to school in Camden Town and, you know, she's a London person as well. Um, <clears throat> and she, we have, in the exhibition, we only have photographs of um, the Hawksmoor churches so we've got two Hawksmoor churches. Nicholas Hawksmoor, you know, is a great 18th century architect, famous for his um, churches, including Spitalfield, the Christchurch Spitalfields. Okay, that's, um, where we, that's where we're based. That's yes, where our radio yeah, yeah, um, and Christchurch Spitalfields is an incredible building. You know, it's it's sort of it's loved by modern architects as well as historians because it's so powerful in its geometry and its sort of the simplicity of its forms. This selection um, is quite a sort of particular view. A lot of the projects in the exhibitions are, are projects that she's followed herself rather than being commissioned by architects. We've all had a year and a half or however long of exploring our local environments and just taking a bit more time to observe what's around us. Um, it's almost like she's had this she's had this way of looking her whole life. She's mm -hmm. seen the beauty in so many things for mm -hmm. pretty much every image that we've seen in here spanning her whole career. Yeah, I think I think she you know, we didn't organise the exhibition chronologically, so you don't start with the beginnings and then come through to the most recent work. Um, and I find it remarkable that 
you know, some of her, the work from the 80s seems so fresh. And the most recent work is, uh, carries, you know, some of the same ideas. It's as if she's been sort of exploring, she's constantly exploring um, meaning and um, the potential of photography and architecture in her work. Um, and I, yeah, I think she makes things look timeless as well. So whether, whether it's an 18th century church or, a, you know, the most recent building that's been completed, she, she takes the same kind of approach.